Hi, welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Argyle coffee koozie. Um, you may know me, my name is Amber Gagliardi. I'm a librarian here at the Middle Country Public Library. And I have offered a number of these take and make programs and I'm excited to offer this to you. Now this is a really simple project, but it's a lot of fun and super practical. So this could make a great gift or certainly you could use it yourself. So, um, it, again, it's really great and practical, so let's get started. Um, hopefully you've had a chance to pick up your Take and Make kit. Um, in your kit, you had a number of supplies, so you can go ahead and get those out now and you can craft along with me. Um, you have two pieces of felt, you have a back side and a front with the diamonds cut out. You have your directions. And then you have a number of different color and uh, three different sizes of diamonds that you can place in any way you would like. Um, you will have extras, so just keep that in mind uh, for your pattern and design. You were also given heat and bond, which I am going to explain how to use. Super handy if you um, need something to be stiff or you don't have access to a sewing machine or you don't prefer not to sew. And you have some Velcro. So you have two pieces. We stuck it together for you so you can keep it like that or separate it and just don't take the tape off until you're ready to put it on. So that was your kit. Um, what we did to create this pattern is we used our Cricut machine here. So I used a fabric grip like this. It's um, the pink if you're using uh, supplies by Cricut. And we put the felt on top of it and we designed these koozies to fit a standard size mug and then we cut them all out for you. So that part is done. Um, but that's how we made this and then the diamonds. So the left all over um, all these diamonds are from the inside of the top of the koozies and then we also printed extras. So that's how we got all these different shapes for you. So once you have all your supplies out, in addition to um, what we gave you, you would just need an iron. So today I'm going to go ahead and use a heat press from Cricut. You certainly do not need something like this, but it is handy for a small project. So I'm going to turn it on um, a medium heat right now. So you can use any iron to do this project, but I am again using this little mini heat press made by Cricut. So I'll be showing you how to do it using that. And once you have your iron turned on, so go ahead and preheat that so it's ready to go for you. And I also have some tacky glue. So uh, tacky glue comes um, in all different sizes. I just got the small bottle because we won't need a, much of this. And you can find this at Joann's or Michael's or even Walmart or any store like that. It's pretty common. Or you can use any um, strong glue that you have at your house that will work well with, um, with felt. And then, of course, a pair of scissors could be handy if you have a pair around in case you have to cut something. And then this is optional, but you can also um, use your sewing machine to add an extra embellishment. So go ahead and we're going to start with um, using the heat and bond. So everyone has a little roll of the heat and bond. And there are two sides of it. So there's the side with the top, it's nice and smooth, and then there's a rough side here. So you're going to um, pick 
one side of your top. Now every um, project has different colors, so we have blues, we have grays, um, and I happen to have the lime green. So um, whatever side has your diamond shapes on it. So you're going to go ahead and grab a pair of scissors and you're going to cut your heat and bond to fit the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here. And you're going to do about 10 seconds. So again, you're going to put the um, rough side down and you're going to go ahead and use your iron to press down and just press it and then you'll remove the top like that and I have a little bit that came over the diamond shape I'm just gonna cut it okay and then you can cut another piece and I'm basically gonna go around the whole piece of felt with my heat and bond Cut in another strip here, put it down here. And again, just a couple seconds is perfect. Here's another piece. And then I'm going to put another strip on the edge. Rough side down. And one more. Okay, then I will put the top piece on or the bottom once you put it on your mug. And then I'm just going to go over all the spots where I put the heat and bond. And then you can flip it over here and then do the front. And you can see that the two pieces are now adhered together. So 
you're done with the first step and then this is the part where you get to be a little creative uh, you have a bunch of different color diamonds you can choose whatever colors you would like and whatever sizes you like so this is where you get to be really creative and see what you would like to add um, so I am gonna go ahead and put the blue here and then I'm going to put two of these turquoise and then I think I am going to put a light blue in the middle now you can do whatever you'd like so if you'd like to crisscross things or only put two diamonds in really you can choose what you would like so I'm gonna do um, my pattern like this so you'll want to use your heat and bond and you can cut your pieces of heat and bond to the size of your diamonds so just use your paper is a guide and go ahead and just cut to the best of your ability diamond shape cuts of your heat and bond so again I'm putting the rough side down first for about a few seconds and then I will take the tape off and then put it down now the big one I'm gonna get a nice big piece as much as you can and again you can then use your tacky glue to secure it a little bit more so pressing down again one two three four that does it about four seconds so just measure it up put that down for the little diamond again And now that I have the three down, I'm gonna go ahead and about five to 10 seconds over, gotta adjust this one so it's right in the middle. Okay. And then you can see I have my three diamonds all in a row, nice and secure. And I am gonna do one more on the top. So I'll go ahead and again, cut the heat and bond. Into a diamond shape, rough side down. Take the tape off, position it exactly how you would like it, and then you adhere it with a little heat. And I just, the heat and bond is great because it really 
secures it and it gives it a little bit of stiffness which is nice for a koozie. So um, again you have your tacky glue. This is so you can take it and do your corners. And that will just, you know, do it so it doesn't move on you. If you take your time and cut the heat and bond to the exact shape, you really won't need the tacky glue. But I did not do that. So I am just going to. stick it on like this. So this is really nice. Um, you could, you know, glue other things on it if you wanted to embellish it a little bit more to make it personalized to your tastes. Um, you could add a button, you could add sequins, you could really do whatever you want. What I'm going to show you next is optional. If you have a sewing machine available, I'm just going to show you how to add um, an accent the red color to it. So I'm just going to clean up my workstation here, move the sewing machine over. And since I had a lot of blues in my, in the, in the koozie I did, move this up just a tad. Um, I put blue thread on for my top. The bottom I'm just going to keep white. My bobbin, again, to the bottom of my thread is just white. So I'm only going to do my top, um, my top thread, this royal blue, which is really pretty. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start your needle exactly where you want it to go just going to use a fabric pen to mark where I'm going to start and end it. So you see I just did a little pattern here if you want to do what I'm doing right above the end of the diamond here, 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 and here. So I am going to stick my needle in that spot and I'm going to do a diagonal. So I'm even to go from here to here and I'm just My string super simple you don't have to be you know a crazy good sewer just to do a straight stitch so that's all I did and I'm just gonna cut the ends off and find my other And again, I'm just going to go diagonal. Okay. Now again, these are really, well, it will certainly hold it together, but this was just for an embellishment. So totally not necessary, but it kind of looks cute. So let me just go ahead and finish this. So you can see now I have this 
additional cross on here that um, makes it extra special. So that's done. So the last step is to add your Velcro. So your um, Velcro has already been cut to size for you. So. So let me show you this last step. Uh, flip it over. You can remove the two sides. And you can test out the mug that you're going to use. So you're going to want a standard size mug. Um, anything too big, like if you like a lot of coffee in the morning and you have a 48 ounce mug, um, this is not going to be the koozie for that. Uh, it has to be a standard size. So this one's a nice size though. I would say this is a 12 ounce um, mug, but it's, it's skinny. So this will fit. So this is really for a small mug. Um, and you're going to want to take your scratchy side here and go ahead and line it up right on the edge, edge to edge. And then your other side. You'll want to put on the inside of your bottom piece. Take the tape off. Stick it right on. And then you have your mug. Now you can see that this part is coming up. So this is where your uh, tacky glue comes into play again. You can go ahead and just secure it. And I'll do this side. And it wipes right off. So just go ahead and let it dry. And you have like a really nice little koozie. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry, the glue, and then I'll be ready to use it. So that's the project. Um, if you would like to share your project with me, you can always email me. My email was included on your directions. I would love to see what you made. If you thought of any other ideas, I would love to see that as well. So um, I hope you enjoyed this project and uh, be sure to share it with me. Thank you so much.